We pick it up in the fourth. Riley Lyons going for a field goal to win it. But Dan Davis says no. He blocks it, and we're headed to overtime. The Quakers have the first possession. We're going hands it off to Kyle Wilcox on fourth and two, and he's stuffed for a turnover on downs. Dartmouth doesn't score on its first possession, but we pick it up in their second possession. Dalen Williams drops back, and he's going to find his man in the end zone for the score. The baby's happy, but Kevin Ejoma is not. He's disappointed with the coverage on that play. Penn's next possession in the second overtime. They have to answer, and they do. We're going to evade some of the Dartmouth players, and he's going to take it all the way to the house for the score. A 27-yard run to tie the game up. The teams trade field goals in the third overtime. We jump it to the fourth. Williams drops back, but the Penn defense steps up in a huge way. With a big sack, makes a field goal that much longer. And after Lyons had already missed two on the day, that's his third wide left. So all Penn has to do to win is get a field goal, but they'll do one better. Kyle Wilcox is going to take it, and he's going to win it for the Quakers. After filling in for Brandon Colavita, who left with a knee injury, Penn gets their first Ivy League win of the season on Wilcox's big day. He went for 94 yards on 18 carries in the longest game in Ivy League history.